Hi folks, I'm going fishing tonight with some friends. So I'm checking, making a quick check to make sure that I have sufficient weights and hooks and that the rods are in working order. This is going to be a fun fishing trip because we are not big fishermen. Um, we're just going out there hoping to catch something or at least a few fish. If we don't catch, well, hopefully we have a few drinks and have some fun. Because I wasn't sure of what the bottom of the bay is going to be like, I went today and bought these rather colorful floats uh, that will hopefully keep the hook and uh, weights off the bottom of the bay and avoid us um, snagging up on, on rocks on the bottom. Really look, they really are colorful and pretty. I'm gonna experiment like I did on Mona's with using a chicken gizzard. It worked on that Mona's trip and we caught some things. So I'm gonna use chicken gizzard again. But I have a friend who insists that the best bait for us to be using is Joshua. So earlier today, I was in San Fernando. So I drove down to Otahiti and stopped at the fish de fishing depot there and got some Joshua to surprise him with and show him, okay, you like Joshua? Let's see if you catch anything using the Joshua. <laughs> Right there. Nah, I'm a shrimp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at you. Okay, I'm nice one in the Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much I want, man? Seven, ten dollars. All right, give me two pong. Let me take two pong. Two pong? Yeah. Let's hope that we get something worthwhile tonight or some things worthwhile. If not, we'll have fun. See you later tonight. We had planned to go fishing at another area in Chagaramas, but when we arrived there, an event was taking place and we were unsure when it would end. So we switched to the waterfront at the Chagaramas Military Museum. You could say that the switch gave us a two-for-one benefit, an area to try and catch fish and the opportunity to see some military artifacts. Museum charges a per person fee for fishing on their compound and requires you to leave by 11 p.m. At the museum, it is best to fish around high tide as the immediate shoreline is too shallow otherwise. There are two short groins that provide the best location for fishing.
Although we went to fish, some of my friends preferred to sit, have refreshments, and watch. As the evening progressed, several groups came to fish. While fishing, we met a group of guys from Sawa, and the interaction with that group was good, to the point that when we were leaving, they offered us some of the fish that they had caught. Although the three of us had caught fish, they had caught more. We didn't take any, because we really just went for having fun. This is the other groin from which it is good to fish. Neil bought a rod just for this fishing night. Later you will see what he caught. I bought Joshua because of Robbie and he sat all night. If you like the content, please share this video. No fish were harmed by us that night as we released our fish to grow some more. One thing about meeting the Samoa boys was that there was plenty old talk. All kinds of talk about if that was the same fish I caught and threw back and he catch it again and man telling the other one to mark the fish, plenty fatigue was on that line. My friend Don had said that this area was known for redfish and one of the San Juan guys had said they had also caught redfish and cavalli there in the past. As you can see, we were not that fortunate as both groups only caught small fish that night, catfish, pag, grunt and monkfish, which Trinidadians call crapo fish. The highlight of the night was my friend Neil, who was on his first fishing trip using a rod, and he finally caught a fish just as we were leaving. Let me how you take it out. Yeah, crap of fish, but at least you catch. After the fishing, it was enjoyable to sit and recount the night's activities while looking at the view at Williams Bay. It would be nice to catch big fish, but really, we are retired. So for us, it's all about the fun of going out, being active, and doing different things. In the video description, there's a link to my website that lists many of the shore fishing locations in Trinidad. 
I've also placed a link on where you can obtain fishing equipment.